Commercial Goat Farming, a popular profitable venture for the upcoming livestock farmers. Traditionally, goats have been raised for meat, milk and goat skin. Because goat's meat is nutritiously tasty, the product has since grown high in demand across the globe. With over 50% of the red meat consumption being goat's meat, a number of goat breeders are constantly working to capture the increase in demand. This is mainly done through breeding different varieties of goats. The aim is to obtain a superior breed whose feed to meat conversion ratio would be higher than either one of the parent stock. In Uganda, the Movende goat was for a long time the farmer's favorite, but today it may not meet the competitive market even though it holds certain advantages like disease resistance. The Boer goat, this rare breed of South African origin, has a high feed to meat conversion ratio. It is being introduced to this market to spice up this farming. Tonight, on Seeds of Gold, raising productivity through species variations. Coming up. Behind goat farming, we saw that goat farming brings in quick cash. Uh, after six months, you can sell a, a goat. It has already grown and it is mature. The boa goats that grow very fast. Aine Fred is a goat farmer, a job he picks after his grandfather who used to raise Mubende goats for food security. In those days, food security was enough. Today, raising household incomes is a bigger priority. As Aine grows, he is taxed with raising the productivity of these animals. His idea is to build the perfect hybrid so he can commercialize the farm. This is where it all started. Uh, we started with the, the Mubende goats. Uh, we had to, trans, to, to transfer to, 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 to breed and reach the, the Bua and the Savannah goats because the Bua and the Savannah grow very fast compared to the, to the Mubende goats. They grow fast and they bring money very fast. And even their size is big. We have two types of breeds here on this farm. Uh, we have the red Karahari goats and we have the Boa goats. Uh, we started crossing these goats way back in the 90s. We, we, we brought in the, the Boa goats, the, the Boa bucks, and then we started crossing as, as we are moving to, 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 to get the pure breed we want. The target to have the, 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 the best Boa goats and the, 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 the best Karahari goats on this farm. Goats are small and require less space than larger animals. They also have a shorter reproduction cycle, so it's easier to rebuild numbers even after a crisis. These have allowed Aine more time to invest in breeds and how to make money from them. Behind goat farming, we saw that goat farming brings in quick cash. Uh, after six months, you can sell a, a goat. It has already grown and it is mature. People want more of the, the savannah and the boa goats compared to these other types of goats. Because of their size and the growth, they grow very fast. Uh, if you have a kid of uh, a Mubende goat at growth, the one at uh, five months, it is still young and it is very small. And yet the, for the boa, the one of five months, it is old, it is mature, it, it is good to go on the market. The success of goats is attributed to their adaptability to the difficult mountain conditions, extreme weather, low value feed acceptance, versatile habits and high production considering their size. Aine is using these to his advantage. Uh, these ones here, we don't feed them on anything. We feed, they, they, they eat grass and the bush. They move in the bush to look for what to eat. We don't feed them on anything. We don't feed them on dry matter or anything. 
they just feed themselves around the farm. Uh, water, uh, they are water source, they, they are water points around the farm. So wherever they find water, they take. Uh, the advantage of, about it is that we don't invest in anything called cash. We don't put in cash to feed this, this, this breed. They feed themselves and they get satisfied. The disadvantage is, is that the diseases disturb them a lot because it is, uh, it is an exotic breed. Uh, the, the foot rot, they, they have a problem of foot rot during the rainy season, they disturb a lot. And this, they have a lot of milk. So the, 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 the kids suck and suck a lot of milk and diurate. Still to come, challenges, overcoming them and where the money is. Goats are relatively easy animals to raise, but they certainly are not prone to diseases, especially during the rainy seasons. These are the challenges Aine grapples with and how he mitigates them. We have the, the, the ticks. Second, we have a problem of worms. Third, we have foot rot. Uh, the way we have managed to, to, to go through this, uh, about the worms, we, we, we try to, to at least deworm after two months. Uh, and for the, for, the, for the foot rot, we try to check every day. And we, we put the, 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 the spawner there so that they can be okay. And then about the, the spray, the, the ticks, uh, you're supposed to spray around uh, after in twice a week during the rainy season because it's the most challenging thing during the rainy season. While there is no doubt that several challenges must be overcome for rural goat keeping to develop into viable small scale production, it is also clear that opportunities exist for communal goat farmers to develop from being goat keepers for household food security to becoming commercial small-scale goat producers, which begs the question, what then should one consider when planning to upgrade? Uh, the three important factors one needs to consider is that they have where to stay. The place where they stay is a, a clean place. There is no dirt. Then secondly, you have to supervise them every day to check the animal that is sick. If anything, if there is any problem with them, they care. Then thirdly, you have to make sure that you deworm them and spray them. At least deworm them after two months during the rainy season and spray twice a week. To start goat farming, even if you have a small area, you can, you can get, feed your goats on dry matter. They don't eat, they don't need too much. They don't eat too much. So long as they have what to eat, they can eat and their size and have the and gain weight. Running this farm on a day-to-day -day while maintaining the quality of animals is a discipline Aine is adapting to. This is his daily routine. In the morning, these, these, they, they, they stay in these stones, you see. We don't put them in the house. Uh, then in the morning, we, 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 we take them to the house for, to be there for a short time so that the, the place first gets dry, so that they don't get the effects of the, the foot rot, the water in the, in, the, in the pasture, it can affect them. So then we release them at around uh, 12 midday they go and eat. 
Then they, they bring themselves back in the evening after they are satisfied. They come back in the evening to the stones. That's where they spend the night from. We now take a look at the math involved to make this profitable venture. A, a kid of about five months, it can cost you 400,000. About 400,000, the boas and the savannah. Uh, uh, a goat gives birth twice a year. Uh, it has to give you birth the first time. The first time it gives birth, it can give you two kids or one. Uh, that's about after six months. Then after six, the other six months, it can give you another. It has to give you two kids when you feed it so well. Uh, that those are about how many goats do you have now? Those are five goats now. Uh, I think there you're gaining. Uh, if 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 you're selling the the, the, the kids, it will cost you a, a kid about two hundred thousand. Uh, if you wait for it to mature, you will be selling at four hundred thousand, about six months. If you wait for it, uh, you see there you're doubling your costs. The one you bought, the the, the goat, the market is insatiable for goats. Because people are always looking for goats. They move around villages, they move around places. Every, every, it can't, we can't spend a week minus three people coming to come and check on the goats. They normally come and take the bucks, the boa bucks, for breeding most times. Having gone through the trials of turning local goat keeping into commercial production, Aine has a word to the peers intending to join the business. Uh, me, what I advise about the fellow youth, you look for a project and switch on that. For example, I got this project and I'm really working. It is because it brings in quick cash. When I want money now, I just say I'm going to sell about 10 bucks and people are there. It's a matter of a phone call. They come and take the bucks. I have my cash and they keep repressing themselves every day at least to have to give birth. What then does the future hold for Aine? Uh, uh, in the future uh, I think my breed will be good to uh, at least 90 percent because I've been crossing this goat so well and uh, as well now I have a boa back which is at least 95 percent that it will change my breed to the to, to the to the point that i want uh, i want to grow to about like 5000 goats i think those will give me like a year